but do not be afraid of failure. It's just one step in you getting closer to where you want to be. There's many things that we are not quite aware of when we are younger. If you're watching this video, you might already feel the same. For me, I've done things so differently than many of my friends. And I can honestly even say that I've done some things in the wrong order. So looking back now, I actually know that this happened for a reason, like everything does. But there were some things that I wish somebody would have told me when I was in my 20s and sort of struggling with who I was and really being certain with the direction that I wanted to take. Because some advice, let's be honest, is actually actually quite just general for a lot of people. First thing that was so painful for me to understand and I struggled a lot with this. This affected a lot of my choices when I was younger. I felt a lot of pressure because of this. I did make some decisions because I thought I had to have a clear vision or a direction to the things I wanted to accomplish in my life. So my first advice is you do not have to have everything figured out all at once. You probably think that you need to and looking around you you might see that your friends are doing well or they're getting the jobs that they dreamed of or they're working hard to get a promotion, seeing how others are growing around you and not being able to do the same at this specific time in your life doesn't mean that you will not get there later on in your life. This might create pressure within yourself, but remember that we all have different timelines. What you are doing at this very moment doesn't mean that others have to be doing the same or vice versa. The sooner you realize this, the faster you can let it go and you can just look at things around you without any judgment or pressure to act in the same way. And this will really release you to feel and hear more intuitively what you want to do in your life and which direction you want to take. For example, I started my bachelor's studies when I was 27 and I actually just graduated as a master in photography and I am 36 years old. You don't need to have everything figure it out. You can really take your time to find out what you like, but you also have to be proactive. You need to look for things. You need to experience things. The more you do, the more aware you become of yourself and the more aware you become of the choices that you want to make. What I'm saying here is, is that you will fail, but do not be afraid of failure. Just understand that it's just a part of everything. My second advice goes with the first one. Learn to say no to things that you know aren't for you. This one definitely took me some years to understand and I feel like we will always be learning to say no to things because we also have pressure in being just the right amount of social, just the right amount of fun or kind. So there will always be things that we will do just to please others or just to be perceived as a better person. So for instance, for me, I was really going to a lot of parties. I would be doing a lot of socializing. And for the past five years, I would definitely say I can be social with my friends, with the closest people around me. But I understood that I'm not the social outgoing person and it's okay. What I was intuitively feeling that it wasn't for me, I should have just listened and known better that I'm not this person. But of course, because I was younger, I thought maybe, you know, these are the best years. I should be doing all these things. Even then, I was never a fan of bars. I was never a fan of going out and staying out late. And once I really accepted this, it became so much easier for me to feed the real authentic version of myself instead of this fake illusion that I thought I was just to please others in a way to present my myself in this more acceptable way. Because learning to say no also means that you know how to put yourself first. To say no to things that are not benefiting you or to say no to things that are making you grow in a positive loving way. I would have so many times where I would try to be friends with people that I knew weren't my friends and I would always push myself and feel like maybe this is the event where I will actually start enjoying going out or maybe this is the person that will out of everything become my best friend. But nowadays if you intuitively really listen you will naturally find a way to be with people and surround yourself with people and events and happenings that are really close to you and that you feel naturally drawn to. Learn to say no because otherwise you will be always dragged along and it will become difficult to say no as you grow because you have already had this sort of pattern of learned behaviors of saying yes to everything just because people are asking. My third advice, the acceptance that you need is only from yourself. But looking for acceptance and validation from others, whether it's through romantic relationships or friendships or even family. You'll always be running this race of trying to be enough for the other person and only feeling that you are enough when they have showed you that you are valuable or they have shown you acceptance through words or actions. So this means that you will always be in lack because you will always be looking for acceptance from the outside world. But once you can turn that around and understand that the acceptance that you actually need should be coming from yourself, you will let go of so much pressure and you will let go of so many expectations that you yourself have 
have built. And I feel like self-acceptance is so tightly connected with self-love because loving yourself is accepting everything within yourself. First you accept it and then starting the process of changing yourself and becoming a better version of yourself. It always starts with acceptance. And once you accept yourself, you actually start to accept everyone else too because we're actually all one. So whatever you feel is wrong with yourself, you will see in other people. And this is something that you will definitely start to point out and notice by letting go and accepting who you are now and where you are now will also open the doors for you to be more clear with the direction that you want to take because you already know that and you're not in the wrong place. My fourth advice is there is no right order to do anything because you might feel that you should have done this or you should have done that in the past but honestly you just need to do what feels right for you. It doesn't mean that because you're 25 or you're 30 that you should already have a degree, a solid relationship, clear goals, five-year goals from now on. You don't have to go through this planned out life. I would say that this is just framework to keep us people feeling bad about our lives and just feeling bad that we are not where we should be by someone else's standards. So once you understand that these standards are there just to make you feel bad, you understand that you do not have to conform to them. And sometimes it's our family, it's our friends, it's people around us that will tell us that you should be doing something or why haven't you just done this yet or why haven't you already gotten married or had kids or had a degree or something. The moment that you let go of this and understand that you will never please anyone around you to the extent that they actually expect you to when you are free then to decide for yourself to choose which direction to take and where to go and really be happy within yourself. How can you truly be happy if you are living for others and we want to make the people around us proud of us. I do feel that it can become very toxic and we start to live through their lens and through their needs. We're all living an individual life and this human experience is so different for everyone. I do feel that you should first just get to know yourself, know what you want and start going slowly to that direction and try to let go of the end result because if you only have that in your mind that you need to go somewhere or be somewhere at a specific time you already have this frame and you are actually putting the pressure on yourself because you are then creating this box that you are trying to fit in i feel like it's such an impossible equation and we will always be dragging ourselves try to fit to everyone else's boxes and needs and expectations of us but if you just accept who you are where you are and just figure out what you want to do it will just open so many doors because your energy will shift. You will understand that you're here only to live for yourself and not for anyone else. It might be a bit of a longer journey, yes, and don't expect it to be instant, but once you get there, it will definitely be worth it. I hope this really helps you sort of have a bit of a wider perspective on everything and just like kind of a take a step back and look at your life and understand where you stand. Love yourself, understand that you're the most important person in your life and no one else. Never doubt your decision to put yourself first because you're the person you need to get along the rest of your life. So why not prioritize yourself? I hope you liked this video and just drop any comments or questions below and I'll try to answer them and I'll be seeing you next week. Bye.